everybody I hope you had a nice Christmas and a new year I thought I'd do a blog today to start off the new year um tell you how I've been and you know how everything is um my partner had covid um he was tested positive just before Christmas um and um yeah so um he's been really 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 poorly he's had it more severe end of covid um he's still in bed now um he had like a fever for like um nine days and um he's only just started eating but little bits like a little bit of a chicken nugget or piece of bread you know just bits and bobs uh, he's not proper eating yet you know a couple of spoonfuls of soup you know whatever he can um he's still um, vomiting though um my daughter was um had um covid too uh but she had a fever for one and a half day days and then all of a sudden she was fine she's been fine since and that was just before christmas she was fine by christmas day and um but um it's a new year now my partner's still a little bit ill but he's um he's no fever now no nothing like that he's a lot better um he's still not eating properly but he's like got over the worst so that that's all good he's got over the worst and yeah so he's just got over the worst basically and he's just feels weak and he's still in bed just feels weak and, and achy bones and and he's now and again vomiting and um but he's you know doing great my daughter's fine i did have symptoms as well um, I sent away from mine and my son's um, test after theirs because they said even though we got the symptoms it needed to be done and um, I just had achy bones I had a fever when asleep and I had achy bones well my bones are like killing me um, but they're on and off like where my thighs are and, and my shins and my ankles killing as well as with my shoulder braids and my neck this really uncomfortable pain it was it's like the weirdest thing i've ever had in my life and um but my partner he can't even eat if you think it tastes like horrible metal to him if you mix him on the vomit but yeah they're a lot worse i only had it really mild you know it was it wasn't no worse than a normal flu for me uh but my dad my dad my partner got health problems and i haven't so yeah so that wasn't as good yeah so it goes on going on and on a bit about all that but um yeah but the it, the bone aching bones are always a bit weird i have never had anything like that it's a bit it's not like it's really really painful it's just it's really uncomfortable so you're laying there and you just can't um lay down even watching tv you can't concentrate on the tv because the pain is really uncomfortable but it's not like really painful. It's just, you know, obviously having a lot of baths to get rid of the pain. So that's why I haven't done my face to face bro. Because I've done some videos of coins and stuff. And I haven't really been on YouTube that much compared to what I usually am. But hopefully my partner's getting better now so I can. We did a metatecting out in the garden today with my daughter. It was really, really cold though. She got a bit cold. So uh, we'll do more when it gets a bit warmer. Um, next hunt I think it's going to be on the beach uh, isolation was over yesterday or well, mine was less day from the symptoms and um, my partner was over from his his um, last fever his last fever was the um, the 30th you know 31st something like that I can't remember <laughs> So he's over but he hasn't been out because he's still poorly he still hasn't even though it's been how many days he's still really poorly but he's over the worst of it so that's really good he's just getting a bit stronger every day so hopefully that'll go really quick and he gets better quick this is hard work doing it all yourself <laughs> especially yeah um my son was sick the other day as well um i think he just ate too much chocolates we found him in the chocolates didn't know he could open the box and um, he ate loads and um, I didn't realise I thought he was playing on the floor next to me but he had a box of chocolates 
and he was sick. I actually had milkshake as well, he asked for. Yeah, so he was sick. There was nothing to do with COVID. It was just um, the he ate too much. He does that a lot. His my boy when he's he, ne he never stops. So from morning to night to about five a.m., he's just running around, jumping in circles, running about. He, he never sits down. You cannot even watch a movie, sit down for longer than a couple of seconds. When he's watching stuff, he's running around, constantly in circles, jumping everywhere, you know. Those are dangerous stuff all the time, but he doesn't know how to stop. So, um, <laughs> so yeah, so that's why he's sick a lot. But he's the only one who didn't get any symptoms, which is good. Um, I thought he was coming down with me, he had a bit of sniffles. I know it was a bit weird the other day, I was um, had a cold all of a sudden as well, and it was... Or sniffles like, like, like it goes through you and you you got like sort of itchy eyes, and then a blocked nose that happened, and then ha ha in in the day in the morning and it ha by the evening it was all gone. So that was pretty good. Yeah. So um, I'm going on and on about, but I just want to tell you how I've been. I'm all good now. Um, I have lost a lot of weight because I wanted tin. Um, that's always a bit ill and um, I've just been eating really really healthy because you're not supposed to eat any chocolate so anything like that if you've got Covid it'll get uh, what is it enhances the Covid and you get a lot worse it's not better so I just like been eating loads of soups just plant based stuff so I lost a bit of weight, weight in my face I can see that a lot I've lost quite a lot of weight I don't know how much I need to weigh myself um, my weighing scales ain't really accurate, so uh, when I go out next, I'll do that. But I'm planning on, I was planning on going a lot more detected over the Christmas holidays. But we won loud out, so, um, but now we are. Um, my partner gets a bit stronger, but I'm going to take my daughter somewhere, more detecting. Beach, a sandy beach would be good, good for one. And, um, oh, I got a new permission. It's only someone's garden, but it's a big garden. It's um, a detached house, and yeah, it's out of nowhere. And you've got like massive trees going all the way around the house. So I got permission to do that as well. So that would be good. As many times as I want, so I can go there many times as I want. So that's good. It's a um, really, really tall tree to go going away, going around. So it's pretty cool. And they've got like their own driveway, lane driveway. It goes into the, into the house as well. So that would be really cool to do. Um, so I got, I am planning on doing loads, heaps of meta detecting, and as the months go on, it will have light, so I'll be able to do it every, like every day. <laughs> Once um, we get the light on our size, you know, when it starts getting dark at six, seven, that would be great because I can go out for a few hours. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do a lot of meta detecting. Um, this beach where it's known for in the 1600s, I believe, or might be just before that. The Spanish um, had a um, Spanish treasure. They had a, um, a shipwreck and it crashed where this beach is. And along this beach, going to the other beaches, right by where I'm going to be going, um, that's where um, a lot of people have found gold on those beaches from the, the treasure from the Sp Spanish ship. Um, because they were supposed to have like thousands and thousands and thousands of gold coins on that um, ship's bow, bows of them. So, uh, um, and they got lost in the sea and they never recovered. So, I'm going to be doing that beach. So, there was a lot on the shoreline on that these beaches. If, if, you know, they have found the gold, the Spanish gold and stuff before. But they haven't found it all, you know, like, so... Um, when the tide goes right where we are, it's a rock beach, so um, it's going to be hard, but that's fine. It'll be nice and thing, all nice and cool to do. And yeah, so I'll be go doing that, and I hopefully will be doing loads and loads and loads of hunts. Weekends are probably the main days I'll be going out, Fridays and Saturdays and Sundays, and in the week I'll be doing it in the week. If I can't get out, I'll be doing it in my garden as long as the weather is dry. 
it's really really hard to do it on the mud when it's not um dry it's just you get it's so cold and getting all the mud over you when you're freezing you know it's no good but then going to a beach it's a lot easier in cold weather because you, you do a lot of digging but it's all sand and stuff so it's not as bad so i'll be doing a lot of beaches mainly for the next month or so and um i got new land to do as well two new places i got permission for one i have to wait on and um the other one yeah i'll find out so it's going to be all fun so yeah thank you for watching guys um me going on you probably only watched like two seconds of this and thought oh i'm not listening to this crap <laughs> but yeah um just thought you know we are doing really well at the moment so that's good I'm still a bit tired and breathless, but other than that, I'm fine. I did a little hunt with my daughter earlier in the garden. It got really cold for her, so we came in. But I felt that I could do more, so that was just really good. Um, but yeah, all is good. Hope you all have a nice new year. And um, happy hunting for everybody. Bye for now. <laughs> Hope you all have a lovely, lovely day.